This morning, another tragedy unfolded. A teenager died after going for a swim with friends in Lake Nokomis in Minneapolis. Video from Sky 4 shows a rescue effort by the Hennepin County Water Patrol just after 10. That is when a group of teenage boys heard their friend call for help and then disappear under the water. Sonar equipment helped divers locate the 15-year-old boy's body. And Angela Davis joins us now from Lake Nokomis with more. Angela, what a sad, sad situation. Yes, this has been an, an awful day. The name of the victim has not been uh, released yet, not officially, but we do know that he was a student at South High School and he was a member of the football team. Investigators from the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office say that this was a tragic accident witnessed by the victim's friends who tried to save him. When I pulled up, the kids were still in the water, and I heard him yelling, this is where we saw him last, this is where we saw him last, and by then bystanders, like one woman just whipped her dress off and was in the water, and they were searching, and then, you know, you could hear all the, the sirens. Once it was confirmed that the teenager had drowned and his body had been recovered, his friends sat in shock and disbelief at the edge of the water. The head coach of South High's football team rushed to the scene to try to console his players. There were about seven friends in the group, and, and they noticed he was in distress, and then they were trying to help him. They were trying to locate him under the water. It appears the victim was trying to swim out to a raft to join some of his buddies. Parents of the victim's friends arrived one by one to take them home and to try to comfort them. It appears what happened today was a tragic accident, no doubt. Anytime a young person loses their life, your heart goes out to the victim's family and friends. I have a 15 year old myself, and so I'm just, you know, as a parent and I'm just as a human, I'm just, this is devastating to, to see this. Now, the sheriff's office says prior to the drowning, the boys had been out running together as a group. They went swimming to try to cool off. It's not clear why the victim ran into trouble while he was out swimming. We don't know what his swimming ability was, but we do know that when his body was found, he was not wearing a life jacket. And we also know that there was no lifeguard on duty at the time of the drowning. It was not a scheduled time for lifeguards to be here, Amelia. All right, Angela, thank you.